I am a descendant of slaves and my great grandparents were sharecroppers and my mom and dad were blue collar workers and my extended family were blue collar workers or pretty poor folks when I was growing up as a kid. So I learned about and saw a great deal of injustice when I was young and that really stuck with me and that everyone, every last one of us deserves to have high quality housing, great education, a job that is meaningful and good paying, access to goods and services and arts and culture to feed their soul. So I have set out in my life uh, to make sure that I'm doing my part to help every last one of us live a fulfilling life with dignity. We have created a giant welcome mat for community organizations, organizations that started with the same kind of activism that led to the creation of Voice of the People. We've uh, always, for the past 30 years, supported housing entities that come together because people decide that they want to preserve their building and make sure that them and their households don't get displaced, like shared equity housing. So I would imagine that that's sort of how the work that I've done and my agency has done really sort of fits into the ethos of a grassroots resident-led organization like Voice of the People. We like to say that we support um, neighborhood people that have big ideas that can be brought to scale. Bringing resources to enable those types of authentic, embedded change agents is an honor. And I'm really proud of the work that we've been able to do at the Chicago Community Loan Fund for the past 30 years to empower change agents like those. At a time when it's more important than ever for us to work on closing the racial wealth gap, to imagine in my lifetime that uh, low-income people, working class people um, in Chicago will actually be able to build more measurable worth is phenomenal and really compelling. And I'm glad that I'll be a part of that work uh, as well as my agency and partners like Voice of the People.